Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time to shill for Disney. Uh-huh. Did you see oh, what I... Yeah, oh, I get it, I get it. No one else is gonna get it yet, but I get it. Yeah, we're gonna talk about uh, Time Magazine doing some damage control for Bob Iger. And uh, we're gonna talk about Time because there is a relationship here with the owner of Time Magazine and the Walt Disney Company. And they found been, it in two minutes. Yeah, Geeky's uh, very good at finding this stuff. And this explains a lot because Time Magazine, if you remember a couple of years ago, they were like, oh my God, uh, Galaxy's Edge is one of the greatest places in the world to visit in 2019, even though it just opened and mm -hmm. people were like, yeah, what the hell? And it was a, a flop at first, it was a flop. Yeah, they did this article after the flop. Like, whatever Disney right. has a, 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 an issue, a black eye of some kind, here comes Time Magazine to, like, you know, kiss their ass. Yeah, I mean, we've got other ones here like, hey, Disney keeps remaking movies like The Lion King. Is that so bad? Uh -huh. Is it so bad that they keep making these live action? Oh, look, Melissa McCarthy's doing damage control for The Little Mermaid. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, I'm not saying... Uh, the other articles and other outlets, you know, they, they do put this stuff out too. But this one, it's like when they put this out today, we're like, wait a minute, wait yeah. a minute. Because if you listen to the shareholder meeting, um, Bob Iger was being a complete asshole. I mean, he was being a real, he was being kind of an arrogant douchebag. Um, and people were calling in and they were, they were giving it to him. I'm yeah. not going to say they weren't because they were. But Iger basically blew them off and doubled down that they're not going to change what they're doing. And hung up on him basically okay that's all to say about that bye yeah yeah um oh you're breaking up shh, shh, no, you're breaking up like guys that. basically he, he'd let them ask the question he'd answer it and be like and that's what to say about that thanks for thanks for calling click yes you know? and, and i mean he did he backhanded florida that's not gonna go well knowing how desantis is that's not gonna go well and um well, now that's just a freedom of speech it's our freedom of speech because as the biggest taxpayers in florida to control the politics and to do underhand question of questionable thing like illegal things about you know the reedy creek district right so now we got time magazine being like you go bob bob Iger outsmarted ron desantis it's a master class in taking on bullies and this whole article goes it's this guy's from yale and it just goes on oh my like, god like and and also you know he also knew when to oust roseanne barr and he also knew knows when to oust people who are trump supporters so it's basically a politi his political mouthpiece and he's not even trying to hide it yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about this. And there is a connection. Geeky found it very quickly. And it has to do with the new owner of Time Magazine. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We talk a lot about Disney. Geeky will give you a woohoo if you subscribe. Oh, woohoo, yeah. Yeah, there you go. And uh, go out to piratesandprincesses.net for more objective Disney news. It's, it's, it's getting very hard to be objective about the Walt Disney Company. I am, I, I got to tell you the truth. I am so soured on this company. People are like, you've been anti-Disney forever. It's like, no, we used to actually work no. in and around the company. I do a Disney blog. I probably have to go to the parks again. You can, you can still like go to the parks and buy like, like Disney stuff and not like what they're doing and want them to do better. I mean, you can do both, you know? This, this company is not what it once was. This company is not Walt's no. company. Um, and for it's, sure. It's just, what gets me is Bob Iyer, you know, when he came back, we said, doesn't necessarily mean a good thing, guys. And a lot of Bob Chapek's things that Bob Chapek was being blamed for were Bob Iger's choices, which we mentioned immediately. But he comes back and immediately he's like, oh, we got to cut, we got to, we got to bring the cost in. And then while they're saying that, they, they raise the price of the annual passes, which they're going to re, re release again to Florida, by the way, on April 20th, but uh, an increased cost for most of them. And then now they're going to go Disney Cruise Lines and put uh, Disney bands on them, but you can pay for upcharge because they haven't tapped that market. So they, while they're saying one thing, they're doing something else. Just like he said, you know, oh, we're about to creativity and announce the live action Moana rumor that everybody's heard for a while. Yeah. And then we got live action. Lilo and Stitch. We got a lot. Maybe they can shoot them back to back and they could save on the production costs because they're both you know, Polynesian flavored, you know, uh, movies. They could just be like, hey, you know, you see a palm tree in one movie. You know, but, they're, but they're not going to walk back. Like everybody's like, oh, they're going to, they're called, they're being caught out. They're going to walk it back. Ideally, that's what everybody would like to see. We'd like to see it go back to center. But he basically told you when he answered that question, it was a complete asshole about it that you know we basically florida owes us you yeah. know where we own florida we're the yep. biggest taxpayer so they should bow down and kiss our ass and we can do what we want because if you don't if you don't agree with us you're anti-florida 
It's, you're anti-American. Yeah, if you don't, if you disagree with me, you're anti-American. You're anti-business. Yeah, you know, he didn't say anti-American. He said anti-Florida, anti-business. But yeah. Same thing. It's all America. It's anti-business to not let us just have our own district that we can do whatever the fuck we want. No, that is him throwing back in people's faces because he, he knows he's talking to the conservatives and he's throwing it back in their faces like, well, it's anti-Florida and anti-business. You you conservatives should get that, right? Mm-hmm. You should but, understand but that. But he basically Shut doubled, up. tripled down on the fact that they're going to do what they're going to do is their freedom of speech. Which, you know, no one's saying they didn't have a freedom of speech to say that. The problem was when there's a difference between freedom of speech and then, you know, flat out saying you're just going to spend all your money to overturn, you know, to get your own politicians or overturn stuff. And the thing is, other companies do it. I understand that. But he said the quiet part out loud. This was was Chapek. Said the quiet part out loud, which was what? He declared war, basically. And, you know, that's what happened. So now we've got Time Magazine again doing damage control. Geeky uh, went out and found that the owner of Salesforce is also the owner of Time Magazine. He bought it in 2018. 2018, which is, you know, then they put that uh, hit that, that puff, puff piece for a uh, Galaxy's, Galaxy's Edge. Edge. That was yeah. 2019, right? This yeah. is uh, Mark Benioff. He bought it in 2018. Owned Salesforce, but Salesforce and Disney are joining forces to help with uh, marketing. According, this is uh, two years ago, Salesforce and Disney today announced a five-year innovation partnership to help support Disney filmmakers and marketers using Salesforce. So you'd think since they're working together, it'd be real easy for Disney to phone in favors and be like, hey, Mark, hey, yeah, Bob Iger is kind of getting beat up right now. Could you do some damage control? People since respect Time Magazine. They respect what Time, yeah, because you know Walt Disney used to be on the cover of Time Magazine when it was owned by a different company in a different time, no no pun intended. And now it's it's just owned by this one guy and his wife, you know? It's, yeah. it's like, I mean, he's very, very rich, but it's not what it was. But Salesforce and Disney, if you go back to the, the article, remember we told you before how Disney does things like bringing people to their incubator programs and stuff like that? It's basically, it's part of that. It's a studio lab. It's an innovation program that applies cutting edge technology, you know, and that, so they're, they're connected there, okay? They're part of Studio Lab Innovation Partner. They're, they basically work with and kind of for, if you're part of the studio lab, you're kind of working for Disney. Yeah, you lab. are. You are. So I was like, there's got to be a connection. So I went and looked who owned time. And then I went and then I saw Salesforce. And I'm like, okay, I'll find it. And within like two minutes, I found it. Yep, it's so like, there it is, guys. Why is Time Magazine talking about Bob Iger being the best thing ever and sticking it to the bullies? Because they have a, they have an invested stake in Disney. So, yeah. So Bob Iger outsmarts Ron DeSantis. Um, I look, I'll, I'll be completely honest in this situation. I said before, I don't know who the hell was sleeping when they signed that contract because somebody on DeSantis's side should have caught it. Now, people said they think they let them look at it and then Disney just pulled a fast one That's and what switched I it think. out. Because I, it, was, I it was the day before. So yeah. when were they making enough time to reread it, you know, to find that? And then, you know, I think it's understood that at that point you weren't supposed to be having meetings where you're switching crap out. You know, it's really, it's really questionable, um, at least ethically. For Disney being more so ethical, that was a really unethical thing to do. So this is, this is a guy from Yale, right? Associate Dean, Lester Crown, professor in management practice at Yale School of Management, president of the Yale Chief Executive Leadership Institute. The very first sentence, this shows you how biased this is. The Florida trike of cronies. Governor Ron DeSantis, activist Nelson Peltz, and former Marvel chairman Ike Perlmutter have met their match with Disney's Bob Iger. Well, Nelson Peltz withdrew. He withdrew. He kind of threw Perlmutter under the bus, I think, in a way. Yeah. But he withdrew. And he and, and honestly, he had quite a bit of I – mean, people were actually kind of backing him a bit. So he might have had more pull than, you know, they were letting on. Iger didn't stop Peltz. They fired Perlmutter because, you know, how dare he go against Iger. And the DeSantis, they just like tried to pull a fast one, which might get them in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, it might. I, I don't know how. I, I'm going to be completely honest on this one. I don't know how this is going to play out. All I have because no idea. Disney wants to tell parents in Florida that they can't have a say in their kids' education. If you listen to Bob Iger, Bob Iger thinks Disney is Florida. I he's, mean, yes, he does. basically what he said. He's like, I am the law. He's you not know, the we are only, Florida. He is. Yeah. And he's not the only the big taxpayer in Florida. You'd just be wrestling gators in the swamp if it wasn't for Mickey Mouse. Mm-hmm. So you owe know us Know your everything. place, Ron. Now, never mind the fact that, yes, they have all these jobs and they pay a lot of taxes because they're allowed to operate in Florida and have people working in Florida. Right, right. But, you know, Florida could easily, you know, I mean, I, they were not going to. But the opposite's true too. You know, they pay a lot of taxes in Florida, but they're allowed to operate in Florida. 
They can't exactly move the parks as we've talked before. But this is the whole thing's stupid. I mean, they could have worked together. Um, and I want to say something real quick before we go on to this any further. Back, it's about this whole thing with the the Reedy Creek thing. These people that are all like, "Yay, Bob Iger! Yay, showing the bullies!" Okay, basically, so take DeSantis out of it. Take that you don't like Trump and all this other shit out. Okay, take politics out of it. Okay, just look yeah. at the business elements of this of this agreement. Do you think it's okay that a company had the authority and the rights to do what Disney had in Florida? Do you think it's okay if a company in where you live could come in and control a lot of things and have a say and, and put, you know, airports in and nuclear power plants in, things that could maybe put you at risk or whatever because they're company and they pay a lot of taxes? Would you be okay with that? Because at the end of the day, when you take all the politics out of it and you just look at the facts, that's the problem. The Disney that you are kissing ass for and being so excited about Bob, oh, Bob Iger showed them. One of the big problems with 3D Creek was their their first responders were able to effectively handle the guests that were there if there was an emergency they didn't have the vehicle sometimes to eat because they were in disrepair and disney who was running reedy creek that did they pay for it no these people argued for years they needed help and disney did nothing they just kept what they kept doing was when the guy that was in charge that um shiree whenever he would say something disney's pr people would come out and go to the media and try to try to hide it Disney is not your friend. They, you're like, oh, Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse. No, Disney could be. They could be doing so much. They could be so much better than they are, but they're not. Yeah. They're not. Look what they did the whistleblower and her family. They're not. No. And the, 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 that's what people want change is people want Disney to be better. But they knew that uh, that somebody arguably died because they couldn't get the, to there fast enough because they didn't have the vehicles and things like that. Their own people couldn't were getting you know rushed to the hospital for different things, and they didn't have the vehicles. They were, and you have all these guests, and you're staying on park. Do you like staying on park, knowing that this company was running everything, but wasn't paying upkeep to make sure that that you were safe? Did, did you? Did, that's okay with you, right? Because that's what happens. You let company run everything, and if you take the politics out of it, and you don't even look at DeSantis or Republican or Democrat or left or right, and you just look at the facts. There's a lot of problems here that needed addressed. Yeah, typically Democrats, typically Democrats would be anti-corporation or, or yes. would be against corporations having that much power over people. Uh, and this having is all that, because of Trump and DeSantis. That's exactly what it is. So this is this is where tribalism becomes absolutely toxic. Well, they're accusing everybody of tribalism while they themselves behave right, in a tribalistic right. manner. Um, I, you know, I thought – God, this is I stupid. honestly God, thought both sides of the aisle would agree that Disney had entirely too much power. But that's not what's going down here. Now we've got people standing for Disney that if it were under different circumstances or this had happened under a Democratic governor, they would have all been for like, yeah, stick it to Disney, down with the yes. corporations, down with capitalism, down with, yeah. And, and the thing is, the scary thing at the end of the day is if you strip the politics away from it, you just look at what, what was happening. Most people would not be okay with it. No. And just and that, that's what makes me mad because I'm, I'm mad because I'm winning because I'm a Democrat. I'm just so fucking tired. Aren't you all just tired of this shit? Are you always tired? Of everything has to be painted through a red or blue lens you know, constantly. The vast majority of people yeah, are. Drink. But, uh, you know, the people on, on social media and, the, the, you know, people like this, they, they eat, sleep, breathe politics. And it's on both sides of the aisle. You've got people that they look for problems when there aren't problems just because there has to be a problem because it's almost like you become addicted to, you know, sticking it to the other side. Right. So in this case, I mean, look at this whole this whole thing. You know, um, he's a professor of management and the school of management and all that. So, of course, he thinks that Bob Iger and the company winning over the taxpayers in the state is a great thing. I'm like on any other planet during any other time, right? During any other time, Democrats would have fiercely been against this. I mean, this is the party that, you know, is all pro union and everything else because corporations are taking advantage of their workers. And um, I'm just like, look at this. Like, I cannot believe how many Democrats are standing for this corporation getting away with corporate bullshit just because they don't like Ron DeSantis. And the thing you is, know, that's, you know, that blows my mind. I would have had more sympathy for Disney if they actually had just been like, you know, hey, we're going to work with them and, and we're going to do our best to work together to get it. And I mean, I can understand asking that you're, you know, aesthetically things match. I mean, that was a, that was a fair ask. But I think they're that they're reasonable and they were going to understand that. You know what I mean? They didn't yeah. give it a chance to make sure it could work. And if everybody would just try to work together, I think it would it could have worked. But they just didn't want to because they basically didn't have their people in power 
they tried, they found a way to give themselves power, but it's not, but it's still up for debate whether that was legal and if it was ethical. Yeah. And they, this is what makes people turn from Disney. They were never supposed to have the self-governing powers they had as long as they had, because it originally they were given those powers. Again, Walt wanted to build a city. That was why they were given the powers they were given. And then obviously that didn't happen for a number of reasons. And they basically just kept the status quo for decades and they just kind of ran with it, you know? And, um, well, I'm looking at this bullies thrive when they see weakness. Bullies thrive when they see weakness. Yes. Have you been to Twitter? The biggest effing bullies I've ever seen in my life. I mean, ever in my life have been on Twitter and they tend to, to scream to the far left side. And I'm sorry to say that because I've always leaned left, but it's the truth. It, I, I've seen more toxic behavior out of that side. Well, and, and how is it not bullying when Iger's telling the state of Florida, the taxpayers that basically he is their biggest taxpayer in Florida there that they should trump everybody else. No pun intended. Oh, you can't say that. That makes people feel bad. Uh, yeah. So they said bullies thrive. They see weakness. Iger's predecessor, Bob Chapek unwittingly provided that opportunity. So basically it was dumb what he did. Everybody told him to stay out of it. It was dumb. And uh, Iger would have stayed out of it or he would have done it in a much but different way. DeSantis attempted to seize control of the public safety, sewage, and water service, roadways, and other municipal-type services that Disney funded, and then decide how much to charge Disney for these services. This is not actually... actually Di what happened. Disney was never supposed to have that much power they, they because they didn't build Epcot the way they were going to build Epcot. And uh, look... There, I know there are Democrats that have been complaining about how much power Disney has in Florida, and they have for decades. But again, because it happened on DeSantis's watch, and, and why it happened? I mean, yeah, it's a pissing match. Absolutely, it's a piss, uh, pissing that's what, match. That's what it is. The other day, it was just a pissing match. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Back to what they're saying, though. But the problem is, is now the new board flat out says that all they can do is make sure that the roads are maintained and that they're paying for it. So Disney, if that was the case. If that was truly the case. Then that doesn't that wouldn't benefit Disney, but it's benefiting Disney. They would have worried that to not have to pay for that, but now they don't yeah. have to pay for it. So that you're you're no, no, that's not what's going on here. No. So here's here's Bob Iger. Yeah, this is this guy is like a total company man. God, this is well, a, yeah. He, he teaches management. Yeah, he teaches kids how to be how to be assholes like Iger. It's like oh, Disney's one of the largest employers in so the what? Santa state. Just basically everything. I it feels like Iger gave this guy a script. And said, these are my talking points. Write an article in Time magazine. If you value our business relationship, Mr. Benioff. Is that his name? Benioff? Benioff? Mm -hmm. I think it's Benioff. Yeah. Um, if you value our business relationship, you will run this because we're going to stand united against Florida. And I don't, I, I'll be honest. Again, I don't know how it's going to play out. I think somebody was absolutely asleep at the wheel. And I do. Uh, yeah, some of my fault has to be on that, too, because yeah. they should have checked it. But then why would you think? You know what I mean? Well, apparently somebody didn't think. And that that's that's the problem. So, oh, my God. Iger has acted with courage on internal matters, did not hesitate in showing moral leadership, moral leadership when he promptly canceled Roseanne when star exploded in a bizarre right. racist rant on right. Twitter. Right. Meanwhile, Whoopi Goldberg has had how many anti-Jewish rants, and she's still on The View. And Joy Behar constantly is making comments. She was doing blackface, but she's still on The View. That is a so, you know, very good How Explain yes. that yes. one here, dude. How is, if it's all about moral and, you know, moral leadership and getting rid of people, because you ba what you basically mean is you didn't, you got rid of people I don't agree with. Because they politically don't agree with me that that was morally correct. See, this is a problem. There's no news here. This is not this is not independent news. This is I have a personal bias. It's a very strong personal bias. And my whole article is led by my personal bias. And I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie and say we don't do that, too, because I, I think every news outlet does that. But to make no mistake here, this isn't about like what's truly, you know, moral or fair or whatever. It's about this person's talking points because they're extremely liberal by the sound of it. Oh my God. He really lays on thick here. Iger this week alluded to parallels between DeSantis to frighten CEOs into silence and those who were intimidated into silence over human rights abuses during World War II and the Civil War. So we're comparing... Is is this guy from Yale? We're, compar we're comparing parental rights education. We're asking them not to, to do... Not to like... 
basically, even if you're straight, you're not supposed to talk about that either. It's just like across the board um, for children, not to push, you know, different ide- sexual identities and different things like that to children. And I think, you know, I, I, I don't even know what to say. We, we are, <laughs> like, so this is where we're at. We are literally comparing that. We're comparing the situation in Florida with slavery and the Holocaust. Is that what they're doing? I mean, are you uh, all this, what this person's doing? This professor from Yale is making the comparison of what Disney did to slavery and the Holocaust to defend a corporation right. that has been fucking people over for decades. That allows Whoopi Goldberg to keep, continue to say the Holocaust, you know, wasn't about racism. Oh, she got a two week vacation, paid vacation. Right, right, day. right. But, you know, Roseanne got fired. But, you know, I, I'm not defending Roseanne. I never liked Roseanne. I'm just saying. <laughs> so. Though, as he told his shareholders, those that stood in silence in some ways still carry the stain of indifference. So as long as I'm on the job, I'm going to continue to be guided by a sense of decency and respect not and trust. Not walking back, guys. And when we do weigh in, we weigh in because the issue is truly relevant to our business and the people that work for us. Didn't Gina Carano say something kind of similar you know, the indifference and treating people badly or whatever. And she got fired from Diz. I, so this is how he ends it. Courage is like fire. This is uh, the British prime minister from 150 years ago. Bullying is smoke. Bob Iger knows how to blow away the smoke. He knows how to blow. Cowardly bullies. Those many CEOs looking to fortify corporate character. Just found a new role model to show their own boards. No, no, no. Oh my Can we, God. I have a few things to hear. Okay, so Bob Iger, right? He knows how to oh he knows God. how to blow away the smoke of cowardly bullies. This is also the same Bob Iger who lied to George Lucas and you know yes. did what he did to Star Wars. This is the same Bob Iger who went around saying that, oh no, everybody's just gonna show up to Star Wars because we're Disney and we said so. The same guy who got basically told Florida that if you didn't agree with Disney that you're anti that your own state. Um, the same guy who, you know, basically made all the, a lot of the decisions that Chapek was held, stuck holding, and then came in and, and, and they got rid of Chapek. And then he turned around and laid off people anyway, just like Chapek said. They thought, oh, he's coming in. He's not going to lay people off. He's not going to do that because Chapek's a bully. And he comes in and then makes all the cuts anyway, and probably more cuts than Chapek was going to make. Speaking of blowing, this guy is like totally blowing Bob Iger in this article. Well, no, he's – oh, yeah. But I this mean, guy, this is like – this is some full-on – Filating going on here. This and, 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 and again, in Time Magazine, in Time Magazine, who's owned by the who's owned by the person who runs Salesforce, who has a a, a partnership with Disney. Yes, just let that sink in a little bit. Uh, we're going to do another video today talking about the corruption of media, and uh, you start to you know, especially now, especially with uh, the way things are now, the, all the layers are being peeled back as to who owns what and who's in bed with who. Right, and this this article. For everyone to say, you know, it's a masterclass in how to write very biased opinion based articles disguised, dis- you know, disguised as fact. It's a masterclass right here. You got it for free from this guy from Yale. Oh, doesn't Bob Iger advertise masterclasses on the YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to get ads for that now. People are going to get ads for Bob Iger's masterclass and taking on bullies. That'll be the next thing. He'll be selling that. I think you've got Master Beat. And this is the title based on Masterclass. Oh, my God. Because that's what he does the whole time. He's writing this article. I hate to see what he's doing while he's writing it. This this is like Time Mag- – that, that's going to the, be the title of the video. Time Magazine fanboys over Bob Iger. This is Time Magazine taking a personal opinion and political bias. I mean, it's Time Magazine. It's what we expect. And like – Promoting as fact. So for only nineteen dollars, you can get access to Times Best Journalism. Well, obviously, well, this isn't their best. I was getting no. I didn't pay the nineteen dollars. So if I pay nineteen dollars, I get actual news. Oh, so you pay the nineteen dollars, you get yeah, yes, you get you know, actual articles from Time. This is the paywall. This is the. So they didn't even give this, Bob Iger the the paywall article. No, 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 because no, they want everybody to see it. That even proves it more. Yes. Because you're putting this article here as so that no one, everybody gets to see it without paying for it. Why would you do that unless you're trying to do damage control and you want everybody to see this? Again, guys, there's a connection. There's a connection here. I uh, can't be trusted. 
whatever, whatever. You know, I don't think people are stupid enough to fall for this anymore. They're going to look at this and be like, God, just, God, just gag me. It's just absolutely gag me. I just couldn't believe he got up there and basically told people if they didn't agree with him, they were anti-Florida and anti-business uh, yeah, because I'm, we pay more taxes than anyone. I'm sure the Florida taxpayers are really going to love that one. I don't think this went as well as Bob. I mean, I could believe he backhanded DeSantis the way he did, but I think the people of Florida are going to turn on Disney even more than they have. Um, this is not going to end. Well. It's overstepping. It's, it's far overstepping. overstepping. And the thing is, it didn't have to go this way. No, it didn't have to go this way. It could because. easily, you, they could have got everything, they, a lot of what they wanted, about everything. But they would have compromised and probably got a lot of what they wanted. And then, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be blowing back on them like this. But they had to go and do this. And it would have been a Bob Iger move. Yeah. But if Iger was there in the first place and it wasn't JPEG, none of this would have ever happened. No, and they'd happened. still have their district that they should not have anymore. Oh, well. Oh well, you fool around. You but at least, but at least now maybe if you have an emergency call, the the emergency personnel will be funded enough to come get you when you're paying thousands of dollars to stay in the Disney parks. Yes, you won't you won't <laughs> die from a heart attack waiting for the ambulance to never show up. Because uh, Disney wanted to put the money elsewhere. Hey, right. All right. So we're gonna wrap this up. Yep. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's the reef.support.